Okay, so we will do a little thing together. We will do an investigation together. We will do that together, which leads to that which we call self-realization. The understanding of ourselves and also that which we could call self-liberation. Because self-liberation is that which is, I think, what many people want, because we suffer from carrying around our own selves. We suffer from having to take responsibility for the self that we are and that we have inside ourselves. We suffer because we have to carry the self that we are, uh, whatever this self now may be. But in this exercise, which is that which will lead you to the best knowledge available, the best knowledge about yourself available, this teaching is better than any guru, uh, in my opinion, of course, because it's my teaching. <laughs> but I'm going to give you that which is completely clear and which no one until now has been able to give. So we will do that now. First thing we do is this. Become aware of that which you are. Right? Become aware of your own beingness. You know, I exist, I have existence. I am now becoming aware of my own beingness. This beingness that I am, that which I have, that which I am, my soul heart essence, my mental existence, the experience that I have of myself, is that which we can call and should call our beingness, the beingness that we are, the beingness that I am. This beingness will fluctuate a little bit between the mental, uh, with the mind content and with deeper soul heart essence experience it's a beingness that is not only one thing it is the experience of our beingness in the different aspects that we experience ourselves which is both that which is purely a mind thing thinking cognition analysis and it is perception and projection and interpretation and it is inner heart feeling, that which we feel, we feel our own existence. So this is our beingness. I experience my own beingness. This is the first sentence, the first step. I experience my own beingness. Which means that, in a sense, we could say that we are not our own beingness. I am not that which I am, you could say. That which I am, uh, or in a traditional sense, is uh, the beingness, you know, the experience of the beingness. But this beingness that we have inside ourselves, this beingness that we are, it stands on something. There is something that this beingness exists inside. And this is the best point of this teaching. Um, let's take it scientifically. The autonomous nervous system is that which controls everything in our body. And practically, many, of course, also many things in the brain. But we also have the limbic system and other parts of the nervous system. But the Autonomic uh, nervous system is that which regulates breath, digestion, the fact that we move our body without thinking about it, things like that, which is exactly the point. As I've said earlier, we don't have to do anything ourselves in order to survive, except, of course, receive water and nutrition. Because the autonomic nervous system will do everything for us. We don't even have to breathe. We don't even have to think about going to the toilet. 
because the autonomic nervous system will take care of that for us. In many ways, this, which is just something that takes care of us without our knowledge, without our feeling, is that which our beingness stands on. We could call this uh, paradise. The paradise in us is that which we cannot touch, is that which is is that which carries our life. The paradise in us is the autonomic nervous system, that which carries us. The invisible carrier, the invisible car, the invisible vehicle, the invisible power that holds our life, that keeps our that keeps us in this life without us having to do anything ourselves in order to accomplish that. So, the teaching is, find that point in you where you don't have to do anything yourself. Find that point in you which is not you, but at the same time, which is that which you could say, your beingness, your I amness, your beingness stands on. Let's say, imagine a circle. Your beingness is a circle inside a circle. The big circle is the paradise, is the autonomic nervous system, is the ultimate, absolute, it, it is that which, it is ground zero, it is that which is which carries our life. And in the smaller circle inside that circle is our own beingness. And we are contained within that bigger circle. We cannot stop living unless we commit uh, active suicide. We, I am not able to end my life at this moment unless I shoot myself in the head or hang myself or cut my throat open or whatever. I cannot, it's not possible for me to die unless my system breaks down. This is because of the paradise. This is because of that which carries me. That, this, that is because of the autonomic nervous system. Even if you wanted, you could not die in this moment by your own will, because you cannot influence your heart rate, you cannot influence your breath, you cannot influence that which keeps you alive. So you are standing on, your I amness, your beingness stands on this. That is the invisible powerhouse, it's the invisible God that delivers you into this world. It's the invisible God in your life. If you're able to surrender to that invisible God, then you have made true progress, spiritually and also psychologically, because it means that we would not be attached to our psychological self, which is the, just a part of the mind self that we have. It's, and the mind self is a part of the product self, which is that which we create ourselves. But the true self is that which we don't have to do anything in order to... I mean, the true self is that which exists uh, independent of ourselves, you could say. So the true self is that which doesn't exist, in some sense also. So the point is simply just to accept this, acknowledge this experientially, experientially as a reality inside ourselves. Um, so, um, and this is why Ramana Maharshi is very right about the fact that uh, suffering ceases when you surrender the doership. When you are no longer the doer, you will cease to suffer. When you are no longer the person who carries the burden of your own existence, you will no longer suffer. And the paradise in you, the autonomic nervous system, the ultimate reality behind anything else, can do that for you. You can, you can surrender your, your power to that force, because that force is going to carry you, because it carries you whether you want it or not. The reason why we suffer is because we keep ownership of that which is the responsibility 
to carry our own selves. We carry our own selves and we take responsibility for carrying our own selves. And this is why we suffer. This is why we get a headache. This is why we get tired. Because we carry the existence that we are. We take responsibility for the mind that we create and also live in. This is, of course, created by the brain. It is created by the human program, which I have said a million times earlier in my videos about the human program. The human program is producing all of this. That's just how it is. But in order to not be a slave or a victim or in bondage, in active attachment to uh, the identification with the psychological self or with that in us which takes responsibility for our own existence, to let that go is a major relief. To experientially acknowledge that we don't have to do that. The true self will do that for us. The paradise in us will do that for us. The autonomic nervous system will do that for us. This is the truth. And this teaching is better than Moji, it is better than Rupert Spira, it is better than Indian Gurus. This teaching is the best because it's the clarity teaching. It is clear, it is the clarity that if you can see this, if you can see this clarity, it will make sense for you because it is scientifically true. There's not a scientist in this world who can argue with this unless they are insane. Because no one in this world can argue with the autonomic nervous system. That just doesn't make sense. Except spiritual and religious fools like 80% of the gurus who claim to be very clever about self-realization and things like that, they are simply just stuck in spirituality. And if you're stuck in spirituality, you cannot explain anything because you will just be a little boy in pampers who tries to be a grown-up. But you're not, because you're not standing alone as a scientist. You're not standing alone as a true guru. You're not in full contact with the ultimate absolute. You're just swimming around in the cartoon of spirituality and trying to find truth and Shiva and God and blah 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 and true self and Ramana Maharshi and Nisargadatta Maharaj inside your cartoon reality of spirituality. But it won't help you unless you experientially realize the things that I'm helping you to see now. Please see this, because this is what helps. You are tired because you carry your own existence. You are tired because you think that you have to take responsibility for your own life. You don't have to do that, because your life is delivered to you. It is carried for you by the autonomic nervous system. You can surrender your power to that which is the unseen powerhouse inside you. You can surrender your power to that which is stronger than us, because it is that which carries our life, it is that which carries our existence. So, the I amness, or our beingness, the beingness that we are, the I amness that we are, the experience of our own beingness, is that which, as an experience, stands on the Absolute, which stands on the Ultimate Absolute, and the Ultimate Absolute is that which is the Paradise in us. It's the hidden God, it's the hidden platform, the unseen platform that carries our life simply by being the autonomic nervous system. So, this is really the truth. And if you want to take this teaching to heart, it will help you. If you don't want to take it to heart, no problem. But it, you will be better off by hearing this, by knowing about this, than if you had never heard it. And that's why I present this talk, this teaching. Because you will be better off from knowing about it. So that's why I present it. You will be better off by knowing about this than you would be if you didn't know about this. So, 
that's why I'm telling you <laughs> that this uh, way of seeing ourselves, that our bigness is standing on and existing in an invisible God, an invisible power, an invisible paradise, and that paradise is this, is that which keeps us alive. You know, it's the autonomic nervous system. It's as simple as that. And everything else is simply just projections in the mind. You know, all the God and the Shiva, Shiva, Sheikh, or Muji, or whatever. You know, it's just salt and pepper in the soup. It has absolutely no basis in reality, not even not any basis in ultimate reality. But it works because it works very well because it's nearly as good as my teaching. And if it is nearly as good as my teaching, it will help. But my teaching is much better because it's clear and it's true and it's scientifically completely correct. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. No one in this world can win in an argument with this teaching. No one can dismiss this teaching. It's simply just not possible. They can dismiss it, of course, if they are stupid. Uh, but scientifically, it's not possible to dismiss it. It's just how it is. Our beingness stands on that which is carrying our beingness, and that which carries our beingness, that which is the unseen, invisible platform on which, in which we live, is simply the paradise, you could say, that is produced by the nervous system. So when we merge with this truth, when we, when we become one with this circle, when we develop a a relationship between the outer circle and the inner circle, when we develop a relationship between the big circle, which is the paradise in which we live, and the inner circle, which is the self and the psychological self and the beingness, the I amness in us, then we get relief and freedom. And this is the whole point of self realization because if self realization do not lead to self liberation then that self realization is just bullshit it doesn't work it 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 will not lead to anything good so this is it this is the real teaching this is the basic stuff and you won't find it in anywhere, you won't find it anywhere else. No one else is going to give you this teaching as I say it here. So um, it's good to find teachers or gurus that are not stuck in the spiritual cartoon because if you're stuck in the spiritual cartoon like Shunyamurti or Muji or Rupert then you will be a product or your theology or your language game or your the architecture of your presentation of your life model world model or the model of the self or the whatever of everything the mo your model of everything will be colored by the cartoon that is derived from spiritual concepts that which i give now today that which i say now in this teaching has nothing to do with spirituality. It has nothing to do with uh, spiritual cartoons or with religion. It is simply the truth uh, of the human being. And it's up to anyone, everyone, if they want to benefit from this teaching or not. But that's just how it is. Uh, it's the best that you can get, you know, <laughs> for a dollar and a half. It is the best that you can get. You cannot get it any better than this. Uh, because, and you can use it as much as you want. If you really use it, you will be free. If you use it 50%, you will feel a whole lot better than you would, than, the, than what you would feel if you didn't do this. And, as I said, you will be much better off by knowing about this than by not knowing about it at all. Because living in delusion, in self-created delusion, that's what we people usually do. And it's that which happens 
by living inside a brain and within a human program that, of course, produces a lot of self-delusions for us, or delusions for us, which become self-delusions because we are that which believes in those projections, which are basically, of course, only projections. But if we can see that this is actually the truth of the nature of what we are, there is something that our own beingness actually stands on, relies on, and exists in, then we will be much better off, because then we will come home to ourselves and we will be enveloped by our own nature. We won't need, we won't have the need for an external God, which is just a projection, it's just an idea in the head, it's just a photograph. If we develop a relationship to that which our own beingness stands on inside ourselves, that is the best thing that we can do for ourselves in my mind. Because there are so many teachings that are, if not fake, at least they are not, going to give you that which you really truly need. And this teaching will give you that which you really truly need if you're interested in things like this. Many people are not because they are perfectly fine living in their own psychological self. They are perfectly fine living in the projections of the active mind, of the active mind self. That's fine, no problem with that. But if you want to liberate yourself from the television <laughs> and from the programs in your brain, from the television of your mind, from if you want to liberate yourself from that which is the feeling of of that that you actually have to carry your own existence, you have to take responsibility for your own mind, you have to be you are the person in yourself that has to take care and responsibility of that which you are. If you feel like that, which is the normal thing to feel, then we will be tired, and we will be confused, and we will get lonely. It produces pathological loneliness. Uh, so, if we suddenly see that, well, I don't have to do anything myself. I can surrender to the paradise that carries me. I can surrender to the paradise that my life stands on. I can surrender to the paradise that my beingness exists inside, whether it wants or not. It's just there. It cannot be otherwise, because it's simply just a product of the autonomic nervous system. If we can see that, we will be better off. And that is my humble little ending of this video, after I was <laughs> quite... Uh, after my hubris earlier on, where I said that this is the best thing in the world, I still stand by that, because in my inner heart I feel that it is true. I have not lied. But of course, we're all different. And I'm completely open to not only criticism, but true... <laughs> uh, open to anything. Rejection of my model or whatever. But but this is just how it is, you know. People who will reject this are people who have no idea what the nervous system is. And the nervous system is that which produces that which carries your human program in this world. And your, your human program is that which produces the world that you perceive. So it's a long train of events, you know, but in order to, to get free of that, train of, to get off the train, you know, it's, it's nice, it's good, it's good to get off the train and then we can get back on it any time that we need to. Because we have to in the world of communication and work and responsibility and the need for organization and things like that, and interaction, so we have to do that. We cannot only have a relationship with our own true self, so to speak, but it helps to experientially acknowledge the fact that we have this underlying paradise self inside us where we don't have to do anything ourselves because it is produced by something that is not us we are produced by that 
which carries us and not the other way around. So we can actually relax and enjoy the fact that we are actually produced by something that carries us with total safety until the end of time, until our time is up, until we're gone. And when we're gone, then we're gone. But until then, we are carried by that which keeps us alive. And that which keeps us alive is basically the autonomic nervous system. And that is the platform and the unseen, invisible paradise inside of us. And it is that which our beingness, it is that which our beingness and our I amness stands on and exists within. It's just how it is. Thanks for listening. Thank you. Bye.